And we're gonna start the conversation about how can automation and controls be considered for new and existing cultivation operations? And Mike's gonna walk us through a few things that need to be considered before even really talking about controls for these operations. Yeah, hey everyone, uh, thanks for the intro, Gretchen. Um, this is such a this is such a deep uh, deep topic and is progressing uh, rapidly as this industry uh, matures and grows at this at this scale for the very first time. And it's interesting because this is one of the topics uh, producers like to talk about the least because those that really are on top of their controls game this is their IP uh, this their processes their um, their IP and how they you know they hold a lot of this very close to the chest because. It's, it's hard to uh, patent, uh, you know, hardware products in this field generally. So the process is, is their trade secret. Um, and this, and this being Massachusetts and Massachusetts specific uh, event, I uh, need to mention next slide. Um, when I work with other uh, other engineers, they're really they don't understand the cannabis market dynamics, which is, is that. Our retail price price for flour is very high. Uh, I, I think it may be the highest uh, white market price in the in the country. If it's not, it's very close. Uh, so sixty five hundred dollars a pound, uh, you know, and, and costs of production depending, you know, or you know, in the order of a thousand to two thousand uh, dollars. So this is it. It's sixty five hundred dollars at retail, and it's support about thirty five hundred dollar or so uh, wholesale price. So they're just trying to produce as much uh, product as they can because the margins are so good. Um, so they're trying to repay uh, debt. So they're not, uh, the industry is not in Massachusetts, is not in the mindset of, of efficiency right now. They are in max, uh, max production mode, but they will get there as they talk to their, um, you know, their folks in other states. And uh, so the main thing that they care about and the, the main language is, is grams per square foot per year. So that's, how much can you grow per growth cycle and how many growth cycles can you get in uh, each square foot of your canopy per year? Secondarily, is the, that is the cost of goods sold, the cost of production of that pound, and then energy is kind of a, a tertiary thing. Right now with how I see producers um, you know, looking at it, and I, again, I mentioned all this to, to facilitate those conversations because it's not like your other customers at all. 